Rick's List, CNN weekday afternoons, 3 Eastern. Do you know how many Muslims there are in the world? I think there's about 1.5 billion. Yeah, yeah. So I guess I ask you that question because that's a very big number. Why would you want to do this to 1.5 billion people, as you say, in the world by burning their most sacred book? That's crazy. Well, well, for one thing, for us, the book is not, not sacred. But it is for them. Uh, but it is for them. doing this action, So if, but if not I don't, us. But I don't mean to interrupt. But you just told me something that's ridiculous. To you, it's not sacred. How about it's sacred to them? That's like saying I'm going to burn down your house because I don't like your house. It's not my place to burn down no, your house. No, we're not house. burning down a house. And what, what we are also doing by the burning of the Quran on 9-11, we're saying stop. We're saying stop to Islam, stop to Islamic law, stop to brutality. We have nothing against Muslims. They are welcome in our country. Uh, they, have, they are welcome to worship. We have freedom of worship. We have freedom of speech. They are welcome. What is not welcome? So what if, we are so, saying with the so, burning of the Quran, so, so how what would is you, not welcome is Islamic law and how the would brutality you, of Islamic law. That is what's not welcome. How would you feel if a Muslim said to you what you just said to them? I have no problem with you, Mr. Christian. Uh, you're welcomed in my country, but I'm burning your Bible. How would you feel? I would not like it, but it's their right. We live in America. Well, they live and in America. That, we want to make a statement. <laughs> it, it is time to stand up and, be, and speak out on what we believe in. But it's we a, believe that Islam is of the devil, no, that it is causing billions of people you, to go to hell. You believe It is that. a deceptive religion. You believe It is that. a violent religion. You believe that. That is proven many, many times. No, and because... it is time that there, churches, there, there politicians are, there, there stand are, up and speak the truth. There are moderate Muslims, sir, who live in this country, who love America probably every bit as much as you say you do. Some of them died on September 11th. That is exactly 11th right. There is, moderate, there is moderate Muslims. Why are you insulting them? The, there are moderate Muslims, but there is no such thing as a moderate Islam. I do not understand why people defend Islam. All you have to do is just look in dominated, in Islam dominated countries, and you will see the oppression. That's fine. Uh, why, and, why, why defend it? You're well, right. why, why do we defend it, oppression? Why do we defend a country like Saudi Arabia who do not even allow women to have a driver's license? Why would you people defend want to Islam? act in a way that's very much like what they do? Why would you sound or do something as hateful as to burn their most, sac their most sacred book? Because we believe the times call for it. It calls for radical times. If we do not stand up, if we do not do something, if we do not, this church and other churches do not call people to stand mm -hmm. up. You know what's going to happen to us? Yes. We're going to end up like Europe. Look at England. You, you, look you, at uh, Germany. Look at Holland. We're going to end up like that because Muslims. So burning their the book and doing something as a believer in so, the Quran. So, so, the Quran calls so, for so, the killing of unbelievers. So burning. A true Muslim believes in Sharia law. So, Sharia law okays honor killings. Well, is, is the, that really the a religion that is, we want here in America? The problem is, sir, as being a devotee of the Prince of Peace, just as you are, you do Christians in this country a disservice by sounding as hateful as you do and saying that you're going to perform hateful acts, as you say you are, for people who may not necessarily believe the things that you say they do. We'll leave it at that. My thanks to you, Terry Jones, for coming on.